The new book Scum and Villainy by Pablo Hidalgo recently answered two major questions about the Bunta Eve pod race in The Phantom Menace. And by major questions, I mean things that a small handful of us have ever wondered about, but hey, it's still fun to fill in these tiny gaps. First, why was Ara Singh present at the race, watching alone from a private location? Second, what happened to the pod racer Neva Key, who mysteriously vanished in the middle of the race? Well, we now have answers to both questions, and wouldn't you know it, the answers are related. Back in Star Wars Legends, it was established that the Zamster pod racer Neva Key piloted an experimental Farwan and Glot 8T8 twin Block 2 pod racer, which was known to be unique for having a cockpit that was attached directly to the front of the engines, making it insanely dangerous to drive when compared to other pod racers. During the second lap, Key was said to have wandered off the main course of the Bunta Eve race and was simply never seen again. His fate was never revealed, and come on, it's not like it ever really needed to be revisited, but Pablo Hidalgo went ahead and told us what happened. New speculation suggested that Key went into debt customizing his racer and then fled the race to avoid creditors. Well, Republic Police Inspector Tandivo was anonymously sent a hologram that may have delivered the truth. The image shows Neva being pulled from his crashed racer by Jabba the Hutt's henchman. The Crime Lord is also present, paying bounty hunter Aura Singh, so it would appear that Singh was watching the race in order to capture the pod racer. While we currently don't know for sure the motivations behind the crime, Devo suspected Farwan and Glot themselves arranged the hit so they could examine Key's customized pod after the racer refused to share his secrets. And just like that, Pablo Hidalgo has killed two tiny mystery birds with one page of his book. I figured Ara Singh's presence on Tatooine would never be addressed because she was just created as an interesting background character. I remember before Attack of the Clones came out, there were quote-unquote leaks suggesting that she would play a major role in Episode 2, which of course never happened, but I imagine her popularity online led to her appearances in the Clone Wars series. Also, that just goes to show that wild Star Wars internet theories have been around pretty much as long as the internet has. For a little background on Neva Key, the racer never really appears significantly on screen in The Phantom Menace. In the written adaptations for the movie, he crashes and dies during the race. As far as I can tell, the old online databank was the first time he was mentioned to have disappeared instead. I guess this new version kind of combines both versions where he crashes and then he's kidnapped and his racer likely stolen, so it would seem that he vanished into thin air. Anyway, that's all Scum and Villainy tells us about the situation, and by the way, the book is a really fun read. But that's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.